What's up my YouTube family? Welcome back to the Gaming Brigade and in today's video we're going to be going over not only the new apparel event which began this morning, but we also have the event Golden Bullet running at the exact same time. So it is a perfect week for those of you jumping back into the game. You're going to earn stars, shade levels, apparel keys. So today is all about answering some of the questions you've sent the channel and passing along a few tips for those of you just jumping back into the game. Now if you happen to be new here, feel free to hit that subscribe or join button make sure you turn those notifications on if you enjoyed this you could hit that like button as well and remember we are currently having a giveaway for a playstation 5 to enter all you need to do is subscribe here or follow on twitter and the winner will be announced on october 2nd of this year so first of all, I want to clear up a little confusion that's out there right now because the global event started yesterday, but the apparel event started this morning. Now, last night I received a lot of messages from players and you were saying that you were earning global event stars, but you weren't earning any apparel keys whatsoever. And that is because yesterday when they activated the golden bullet event, the apparel event was not active. However, it is now. And to be clear, you should be earning one apparel key for every four shade levels that you gain. Now, the first thing we're going to go over is a global event. And as you can see here, this is the reward track. And as you earn stars in this game by completing challenges, you'll be progressing in the tier system, earning caches along the way. And not only that, remember that when this event is active, you're going to get a star for every shade level that you gain. So it is a perfect time to really stack that XP and get as many stars as possible. Now, one friendly reminder as we move on is that you have to activate this event to earn any stars whatsoever. So from this main page, you can see you press X to activate. There's going to be a 10 second countdown. And when the game reloads, you will see an indication on screen that the event is active. This also brings me to the topic of countdown because the global event cannot be active in this game mode. And what happened in our last global event is a lot of players forgot to turn the global event back on after their countdown run was finished. So I'm gonna show you a quick example. So you'll see it's very apparent whenever you jump into this game mode, you will get an on-screen indication that the global event has been turned off. So what that means is you need to make sure that when you go back into your own personal gameplay, you make sure that you turn the global event back on. And the only reason I'm bringing this up is because the last event we had, many of you reached out to the channel saying you couldn't figure out why the global event kept turning itself off. That was why, my friends, if you jump into countdown, you got to turn it back on. So again, it's a friendly reminder. It happened to me a bunch of times. Make sure if you do jump into countdown, you do turn the global event back on when you're done. With all that being said, let's now get into farming for XP because that is the most important factor during this event because that is how you're going to earn those stars as well as those apparel keys as you gain shade levels. Now for me, one of my favorite things to do when this event is active is to just rip around the open world, hit different open world activities and just stack that XP. Now I will be putting together a dedicated farming video later today or tomorrow to show you some of my favorite spots. However, one thing I wanna mention is that you want to make sure you take out the NPC for Forming the golden bullet as quickly as you can that way you attain that bullet and that's when you get all the different buffs weapon damage rate of fire just a bunch of stuff not needing to actually reload the weapon I mean you can see here I'm at a warhound convoy and people came pouring out of this truck and I do not need to reload the Scorpio once it is fish in a barrel you're going non-stop and that is why this event is so much fun to do now a few details really quick first of all when you have the golden bullet and you take out another NPC it keeps the golden bullet going so the goal is is to find you know places like this where you can just lay into different NPCs. The other thing to keep in mind is that multiple NPCs can form the golden bullet at the same time. So if you're running a mission or something like that, like a control point, you could have you know one golden bullet on one end of the area, one on the other. So you want to make sure you listen out because the game is going to tell you anytime an NPC is forming a golden bullet and that should be your focal point. Once you take them out, again, you attain those buffs and as you can see, you are just shredding through enemies. We'll Moving on my friends, let's now get into talking about the apparel event. And one thing I want to make sure I mention is that you will earn apparel keys whether you have the global event turned on or not. That is completely up to you. And as I said earlier, remember you're going to earn one apparel key for every four shade levels that you gain. And that is regardless of playing golden bullet or not. I mean, you can see at the top of the page, every time you gain a shade level, you will see an indication letting you know exactly how many more levels you need to gain to get one of the apparel keys you can see from me, my next event keys in three levels, and I also gained a global event star because I had that active at the same time. But remember, you do not need to play the global event at all if you have no desire to. 
Now, one of the benefits of playing the global event, obviously, is earning those stars, as I've said a thousand times, because you can buy these caches from the global event vendor. Now, one of the things I strongly recommend doing is try to open these up when you're in a group of people. That way, you can share the items with other people in your group. That really comes in handy. And remember, both named caches and legacy caches can have Dark Zone exclusives, so it could be a great way to get something you haven't been able to get before. And as I start to wrap this video up, so far it seems that things are running pretty smooth with the game since the introduction of both these events. Unfortunately, and we've seen this in the past, sometimes when things are introduced into the game, when there is an update, there are a bunch of issues that pop up. That does not seem to be the case now, so that's fantastic. Now, the one thing I did hear is that a few of the items are missing in your inventory from the LED outfit. So for those of you that either, you know, just ripped through this, already got all the apparel keys, or for those of you that bought apparel keys, you may notice that in your inventory, you're missing the LED hoodie, I believe, and the mask. Now, the game is well aware that those are not in there. They're going to put a patch and put the thing out pretty quick. They've already addressed it on uh, social media. So hopefully those should be jumping into the game soon. With all that being said, my friends, I'm going to start to wrap this up. Now, as I mentioned earlier, I will be putting out either a build video later today or an XP farming video. One of the two, I'll make sure I put that out, you know, this evening. And then whatever I don't put out tonight, I'll put out the other one tomorrow. And as always, if you have any questions, comments, or feedback, please let me know in the section down below. Like I mentioned at the beginning of this thing, if you happen to be new here, feel free to hit that subscribe or join button. If you enjoyed this, you could hit that like button as well. But most importantly, Take care of yourselves, be kind to each other, and we will talk to you soon. Thanks again, everyone.